A key question in human evolution is when in prehistory human cultures similar to ours emerged. A multidisciplinary team led by Francesco de Erico sheds new light on this topic. This research demonstrates that many elements of material culture that characterize lifestyle of Bushmen hunter-gatherers were established in Southern Africa 44,000 years ago. This research is published in two articles in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Until now, most archaeologists believe that the oldest traces of Bushmen's lifestyle in Southern Africa date back to 10,000 or at most 20,000 years ago. Our study pushes that date back to 44,000 years ago. We have analyzed the artifact recovered at the site of Border Cave in KwaZulu Natal, a site that records exceptional preservation of organic remains and directly date a number of them using a radiocarbon method. We used microscopic and chemical analyses to identify how the artifacts were manufactured and used and what they were made of. We were able to show in this way that already 44,000 years ago the inhabitants of this site manufactured and used many artifacts that until recently were an integral part of Kalahari Bushman culture. For example, the border cave people used digging sticks weighted with board stones, wore ostrich eggshell and marine shell beads, and used notched bones for counting purposes. They crafted fine bone points for use as awls and poisoned arrowheads. One point is decorated with a spiral grooved, filled with red powder, comparable with similar marks made by Bushmen made to identify their arrowheads when hunting. Chemical analysis of residue on a wooden stick decorated with incisions revealed that it was used to hold a poison made of ricin found in castor beans. A lump of beeswax mixed with a resin of toxic euphorbia and possibly egg was wrapped in vegetal fiber made from the inner bark of a woody plant. This complex compound, used for hafting arrowheads or tools, directly dated to 40,000 years ago, is the oldest known evidence of the use of beeswax. The use of small pieces of stone to arm hunting weapons is confirmed by the discovery of resin residue still attached to some of the tools, which chemical analysis has identified as subarin, a waxy substance produced from the tree Podocarpus or yellow wood. The study of stone tools discovered in the same archaeological layers as the organic remains and from older deposits shows a gradual evolution in lithic technology. Organic artifacts, clearly reminiscent of Bushman material culture, appear relatively abruptly, highlighting in our view a mismatch in rates of cultural change. Our results support the view that what we perceive today as modern behavior is the result of non-linear trajectories that may be better understood when documented at a regional scale. Our research demonstrates that Bushman technology and lifestyle emerged abruptly, very long ago, and remained relatively unchanged until recent times, indicating that this represents an extremely successful and flexible cultural adaptation able to cope with changing African environments. We believe that our results have implications for issues such as the origin of language or the relationship between genetic and cultural heritage and hope that they will attract further inquiry. <laughs>